everyone and welcome to our last episode of Make Waves. I hope that you're having an amazing start to your holidays and that you're remembering that you can help to change the world around you. Remember this whole series has been a reminder that when we ask Jesus to come and live in our hearts, he gives us the strength and the ability to be loving and kind and good and gentle and patient, peacemakers who are full of joy. He brings those things into our lives. But also when we mess up and we fail at being those things to other people, his spirit in us helps us. Through him we can be loving, kind, good, patient, peacemakers and full of joy. And we can show that to the people around us too. Let's start by standing to our feet to sing. God is good and he is everything that we need. Whatever we need, we can find it in him. So let's stand and sing, all I need. You're my calm in the chaos, my peace in the war. You speak light into darkness, you tell me I'm yours. Only you, Jesus, are in control. You are my every heartbeat, every breath that I breathe. You're all Great job guys. Now over these past two months, we've looked at some great qualities, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness. But this week's one I think is one of the toughest because today's topic is self-control. How many of you struggle to control yourselves at times? Yeah, me too. It's hard, isn't it, to stop ourselves when we're super mad and we just wanna kick out at something or even at that person. 
when we're super hungry and we want to eat all the biscuits in the packet, when we love a particular program or game and we just want to keep watching or playing more and more and more. Self-control is really hard and self-control over what we say seems even harder. Hands up if you've ever said something to somebody that you then really regretted later on. Yeah, definitely me. Sometimes things just come into our heads, don't they? And then they seem to instantly spill out of our mouths without us even having a chance to stop and think if they were a good or a kind or a right thing to say to somebody. Sometimes when we're angry, when we, we can just say the first thing that comes to mind, can't we? Because we wanna hurt that person with our words. We want to be mean. Sometimes we can talk about friends when they're not around, telling tales of them or sharing things that we weren't supposed to because we want people to like us. Self-control over what we say is tough, but it is so, so important. So let's head straight over to the so-and-so show to find out what they have to say about controlling what we say and do. And I'm John, and welcome, welcome to, to the So and So Show. And do we have a show for you today? It's time to play. Simone says you must do what Simone says, but only when Simone says Simone says. Did you know this was happening? I usually don't. Okay, sure, we'll play. I'm guessing it's like Simon says, but with Simone. You are correct. I rule at this game, but what happens when we mess up? You will be hit in the face with a pancake. Awesome. Simone says, stand up. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. So on today's show, we're talking about self-control, having control over what we say and do. Simone says, turn around five times. Uh, I'm glad because I sometimes have trouble, uh, you know, uh, with uh, eating myself, especially when it comes to food like candy or Twinkies or candy. Ooh. Simone says, rub your belly and pat your head. Yeah, for me, it's my temper. Uh, I lose control sometimes when things don't work out the way I think they should. Simone says, quit rubbing your belly and patting your head. See, so I'll say things that I regret. Sit and... down. Oh. Uh-uh-uh, Simone didn't say. I didn't sit all the way down. I didn't sit all the way down. Temper, temper. You're right. Control. Mm -hmm. I have trouble controlling the things I say too, like uh, when- uh, Simone says, don't say the word the. Oh, like when I'm having an argument and I think of, uh, you know, a, a perfect word, but not just any insult, you know, that one that really hurts someone. Uh, sometimes it just slips out and I can't control it. Uh-huh, tell me more. Why are you making me do all, why do I have to say everything? It's fun for me. Simone says, stick your fingers up your nose. Well, it's not fun for me. I told you I had a problem controlling my words and now I can't say, you know, that word that's really common in our language, which is English. Simone says, recite this tongue twister. Without saying th that word? Whether... Weather is cold, or weather, weather is hot. Will weather, weather, whatever, weather, whether we like it or not. I did it. <laughs> now say it with the word the. <laughs> whether the weather is cold, whether the weather is hot, will weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. Boom. Simone didn't say. Oh man. <laughs> Simone says, "Take your fingers out of your nose." <sighs> Simone says, you can say the word the. Thank you, the, 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 Missed you, the. Simone says, you can now only speak in questions. So, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? What's your favorite movie? Uh, oh brother, where art thou? What's your favorite song? Do you really want to hurt me? <laughs> Do you know what it's time for now? 
It's Bible story time with Kellen? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you lost. So did you. Simone says, thank you for playing. And now it's time for Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, how's it going? Just playing a rousing game of Simone Says. It was more challenging than I thought it would be. Oh, yeah. You don't want to mess with Simone. Her words are powerful, which is what today's Bible story is all about. Then take it away. Today's story comes from the book of James. James was Jesus' brother, so you know James had heard some incredible words in his life and knew how important they could be. James wrote that if you could keep your tongue or your words under control, then you could control the whole body. James compared our tongue to different things. Here's what he wrote. We put a small piece of metal in the mouth of a horse to make it obey us. We can control the whole animal with it. So the bit for a horse is small, but it helps steer the whole big horse. Our tongues or our words can help steer us. Let's see how this plays out for our friends, Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter. There is nothing like taming a wild beast, hey, Mr. Fritter? I wouldn't call Sunshine here wild. He's a nice old boy, aren't you? Puppycock, he is a fierce animal, and I his conqueror. Move, beast. Yaw, yaw! Maybe he'll listen if you talk a little nicer, Count. A kind word can go a long way, you know. Never, Mr. Fritter. I must show this foul beast who is the boss. Go forth, you smelly, stinky horse. Go forth. Oh, dear. Ow! <laughs> Medic. Sometimes when we don't use our words wisely, things can get out of control. You use a hurtful word, and you end up being the one who gets hurt. Next, James compares her tongue to the rudder of a ship. And how about ships? They are very big. They are driven along by strong winds, but they are steered by a very small rudder. It makes them go where the captain wants to go. Again, our tongues are very small, but they can make a big impact. Oh, button down the hatches. Tie the anchor to the top sail. Get ready to box the compass. I beg your pardon, Count, but I have no idea what you just said. It doesn't matter what I said, Mr. Fritter. I am the captain. You are the first mate. You're just supposed to do it. Aye, aye, Captain. That's more like it. I will have this ship ship shape. <laughs> I tried to do what you said, Count. I, I mean, Captain, but I don't think I did it Enough quite Enough excuses. Right. Lower the anchor, Mr. Fritter. Are you sure? I'll do it, but if you could just be a little more patient with me. I, I am the captain. Lower the anchor. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> oh, dear. Sometimes when we're in charge, we're tempted to be mean. But you have a greater responsibility to control your tongue when you have people who rely on you. James goes on to compare the tongue to a fire that's out of control. I would see how Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter dealt with it, but I think we can guess. Woo! That is hot! Whoa! Oh, no! Whoa! So clearly, James believed that the tongue or our words are important. When you don't control what you say, there will be consequences. James goes on to write that no one can tame the tongue. So, if you really want to control your words, you're going to need help. That's one of the reasons God has given us the Holy Spirit, to help us have self-control over what we say and do. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kellen. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. Something so tiny, controlling my whole body. I always thought that my tongue was pretty long. <laughs> 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 Reveal the question. Oh, yeah. What can happen when you lose control? John? Why are you asking me? You're acting like that happens to me all the time. Does it? No. Maybe. Yes. 
Okay, yes, I, it happens and I end up having to apologize and it feels terrible and I don't like it, but I work really hard for it not to happen. How about you? What can happen when you lose control? Can you hurt someone's feelings? Yeah. Do you break something? Mm. Do you eat too much? Ooh, like candy or Twinkies or candy. <laughs> Talk about it together. Yeah, and we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Simone says, lift your feet up as high as you can. Simone says, roll over. Oh. Simone says, waddle like a penguin. Simone says, be a beautiful butterfly princess. Simone says, act like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I love the question that John and Brandon ask at the end there. What can happen when we lose control? I love the question because it gets us to remember not only what happens, but how it feels when we lose control. I want you to pause the video here and share with the people around you what happens or maybe what has happened when you've lost control in the past. Great job. The truth is our tongue will always talk big and we need to learn to control both it and our actions. Because whilst our tongue is a small thing, man can it have a huge impact. We need to learn to stop and think before we speak and before we act. Pause the video again and I want you to share together things that have helped you to have self-control. Maybe it's setting a timer for you when you're watching TV or playing video games. Maybe it's only taking one biscuit and hiding the others away. Maybe it's choosing to count to 10 before you react to something or say something in response to somebody else. Pause and share those things together that have helped you to have self-control. Brilliant. Well, remember God is always with us and can help us with this. The memory verse that we've been taking a look at all of this month tells us just that. Do you remember what it says? I want you to pause the video here to see how much you can remember without it coming up on the screen. Well done, that is amazing. But remember, we remember these verses not because we want to get it right, but because we want to remember the true things that it says. God is working in each of us to bring out these amazing qualities in us and he will make sure it happens. It's not all on us. So let's say it together. Ready? One, two, three. God began a good work in you and I am sure that he will carry it on until it is completed. That will be on the day Christ Jesus returns. Let's say it one more time, and this time I want you to shout it super, super loud, okay? So ready, one, two, three. God began a good work in you, and I am sure that he will carry it on until it is completed. That will be on the day that Christ Jesus returns. Fantastic job, guys. Let me pray for us now. Lord, I thank you that you are a God who helps us when we need it, that you're a God that produces this fruit in us and that you help us to have self-control. Lord, would you help us when we get angry, when we want something, when we don't know where the boundary is, to have self-control. Help us to look after people by our actions and by our words. Help us to think how it's going to be when other people hear those words or how they'll respond to the way that we treat them. Help us to have this self-control. Thank you, Lord, that you are always there. You always love us and you are always willing to help us. Amen. Well, that brings us 
to the end of not only today's um, episode, but also the whole of this series, Making Waves. Next week, we're starting a brand new series and it's called Epic. It's a love story for the ages. And we'll be taking a look at the most epic love story of all time. Now, I promise it won't be mushy or sickly sweet. It's taking a look at the love story that God has shown us through the whole Bible. And it really is going to be epic. So I look forward to seeing you there. Yeah.